Hi, I'm Mama Fontana and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're doing sour cream chicken enchiladas. So we're going to make sour cream chicken enchiladas. It's a good thing for Christmas time. If you're having people over, a lot of people have little parties. People get tired of turkey and ham because it seems like those are the staples for this time of year. So try something a little different and sour cream chicken enchiladas are one of those things that I think are different. So I'm gonna have my little burner on here and we're gonna start by cooking up some raw diced chicken. And since I'm cooking up this raw diced chicken, I'm gonna make a shout out to the guy at the Lucky store. He sold me the chicken and he's got a new subscriber and I said, you watch the sour cream chicken enchilada, know it's you. Here's your chicken, dude, I'm cooking it for you. So here's our chicken, we're gonna get this put in. I put a little bit of uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil in there to begin with. And we got the heat going on here. I got a new little fancy little burner here so I can cook here so you can see me what I'm doing. So we're gonna start this going and then we're gonna add to this, the only thing that we really need to add onto the chicken is just some minced garlic. I used about three tablespoons, but I really like garlic and garlic is, I mean, I don't know if you can ever have too much garlic. Garlic is delicious. So we're gonna add a little bit of garlic to that. And of course, salt and pepper to anything, especially meats, when you're cooking them, you wanna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. This is gonna take a little time for this to cook. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the sauce up to the side so you'll know what I'm doing. So we're gonna cook this meat while it's doing its thing. And I'm gonna show you what you do for the rest of it. We're gonna get this going up here pretty good. So over in this bowl, we're gonna start the sauce for the sour cream chicken enchiladas. And I'm gonna give you kind of a, a blow by blow of how we're gonna do it. So very first thing for these is you use cream of chicken soup. And I'm gonna make a lot of these, so this is why the recipe is so big. So you can cut it down if you want to. But what I do is I make a lot of these and I put them in separate little freezer containers in some uh, frozen pan, uh, metal tin foil pans. And then I give them away for Christmas presents. I give them to um, friends that at work, I give them, I take them, we have them for extra meals, so it's kind of good to have. So there's one large can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna do two of these because I'm making, like I said, quite a bit. So here's the second one. These are really good. I have people that request these all the time for me. When are you gonna make chicken enchiladas? My friend Michelle, hi Michelle. Um, this is one of her favorite things. In fact, every year for her birthday, I always she always asks for chicken enchiladas. So now we're gonna add three of the cans of diced green chilies. So there's one, two, and three. Had a little funky thing in there. We're gonna pull that little sucker out of there. Just gonna give them a little mix. All of this stuff that goes in here together is going to um, be part of the sauce. So now I have two cans of diced jalapenos. You can use one if you're not one of those people that likes things with a little bit of kick, or you could eliminate them completely. But I wouldn't because it kind of gives it a good little flavor. The green chilies, of course, have no heat at all. The jalapenos are a little more kicky. Kind of like a skinchy, but it's a kicky. The biggest thing that I like about these is I like to put in lemon pepper. Lemon pepper gives it kind of a, lemon pepper and chicken just kind of mesh together. So I really like that. So I'm gonna put some lemon pepper in here. This is a brand new container. So it's like giving me fits here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's get that out of there. 
I had something really cool happen the other day. My son called me at work and he said, Mom, you're not going to believe this. He says, you know, you have some fans out there, which I really appreciate. But somebody that he works with, Phil and Elena, they sent me this little gift and it is the sweetest thing. Phil and Elena, thank you so much. That is so sweet. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I didn't even want to open them and use them until I was able to say thank you on air so you could see. But look how cute. All these cute little spatulas that say different things on them. And I'm going to use the crap out of these. I'm just telling you, these are so cute. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. I, I'm hearing about new people that are watching us. And, you know, it just makes me feel good that I'm, I'm trying to get out there and let people know that cooking well and cooking good food isn't hard. It's really pretty easy, but you just have to try to take the steps. I've had some people send me emails asking for recipes and stuff. So if you are watching and you need the recipes, just send us a comment if you haven't, if you're not able to write them down at the time, and we're happy to do that. So after the lemon pepper, um, the next thing is sour cream. And it's the sour cream chicken enchiladas. Like I said, I'm making a big batch, so I'm gonna use one of the two pint, or maybe it's one pint, let's take a look. It's a pound, so 24 ounces, and then one of the 12 ounces so that we can get this to where we need it to be. That's a lot of sour cream. I know you're thinking to yourself, holy cow. But I'm gonna make a lot of them. So in here I have three pounds of chicken. That's a lot of chicken, but it'll be delicious. So we're gonna get this all mixed up. I wanna make a little shout out to all my Swift people. I work at Swift during the day. This isn't, this isn't my day job. And I have a lot of friends and a lot of subscribers from Swift. So hi guys, thanks for watching. Continue to watch, um, I really appreciate it. And while I'm talking about it, you're going to see a little button down here that says subscribe. Hit that button, subscribe, and if you would, share it. Tell your friends. I would like for this to grow and be something that a lot of people watch, and the best way to do that is from you. Chili Verde's coming up, which is something that everybody likes. That's my dog, Juno. She must have saw another person or a dog outside because she's running in and out. So I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And there goes Juno again. Would you settle down, little missy? Christmas is coming up. And I'm just gonna say that Christmas time, like I've told you before, is my favorite time of year. This year is a big birthday for me. So, and I mean big. The big six, oh, oh my gosh, I can't even believe how fast that time went. So I've kind of asked my sons to do something special for my 60th birthday. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to find out. They know what it is, don't you boys? Okay, well this is cooking up nicely. This is, believe it or not, is all the ingredients. I keep milk on the side because you never know how thick this is going to be when you start mixing it up. So I think that it's okay if it was much thicker than that I might add a little bit of milk but I don't think I'm gonna do that so remember this all this was was three cans of green chilies two large cans of cream of chicken soup some lemon pepper a couple cans of diced jalapenos and then of course sour cream that's all there is to it and some diced chicken so we're gonna finish cooking this up and then we're gonna come back and show you how to put these together. Okay guys, the meat is cooked, it's beautiful. So we're gonna use just enough sauce to moisten the chicken. Yes, I said moist, a lot of people hate that word. It's kind of funny, moist, 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 moist. So we're gonna moisten up this chicken. So we have moist burritos, but you're gonna like them. Um, so take, you know, generous few dollops. There's another word for you. We'll stir this up and see where we are once we get this stirred up. So 
So the store where I went and bought the chicken have homemade tortillas. It's called uh, Lucky's. It's delicious. So you would might want to try that, but they do, they make homemade tortillas and actually you can buy them when they're warm and you could just eat them raw. They're so good. Well, they're not really raw, but you know, without anything on them. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the burritos. You're just gonna put a little bit of meat in it. You don't need much. And then of course, a little bit of cheeses. And then we're gonna roll them. And the best way to get them to stick is to put another dollop in your pan and just kind of smush, smush it around. Smush, that reminds me of, uh, what's that show that had Julia Roberts in it? They were just talking about, it's like the 30th, 30th season, 30th year since they've had it. I can't remember, but I'll think of it. Quit laughing. Friends. No, it's not friends. <laughs> okay, now they're out of control. First time you've heard from the people in the back. The peanut gallery. The peanut gallery. So here we are. Oh, look at that one came undone. Silly little thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a bunch of these. Fill up the pan. And then when you're done making enough to fill the pan, um, do all the chicken. So if it takes one pan, two pans, whatever, use all the chicken and then divide the sauce up on top and then we're going to put cheese on top of that. So we'll finish these up and then I'll show you what they're going to look like and then we're going to put them in a 350 oven and it's going to take about 45 minutes to bake. We'll be back. Okay, well it's been about 45 minutes. They are hot and bubbly and delicious. So I'm gonna go get them and you guys can take a peek at these. Woo, heavy. So that was enough to make two pans. So here's one full pan. Look at that really cheesy deliciousness. It's all melted, kind of browned around the edges. And I have a whole nother pan good size pan too, to put in the freezer for either another meal, to give to somebody, whatever you want to do. So just so you know, this is kind of a staple at our house. We really like to eat these a lot. And it's going to be super hot, but I am going to dig right in here. Wait to see this cheese as we come up. Oh yeah, look at the heat. Super delicious. Mmm. Can taste the jalapeno. Can taste the green chilies. Really good. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. So I just wanted to remind you again, subscribe right down here and let me know if there's something that you want me to do. So happy December. Christmas is right around the corner. I know it's a busy time. So if this can help you cook a little easier, a little quicker. That'll be great for everybody. Remember, tell your friends, share it. And as always, I share the love of cooking with my family and now I share it with you. Thanks again, see you next time.